This isn't really a review, it's just a quick look on my phone at a DJ production kind of hybrid workstation that we've just set up in, in my home. And uh, I think it's really cool, so I'd like to share it with you and uh, yeah, show you, uh, show you what this thing looks like. So here it is, it's a glorious hybrid workstation and it's designed to use either as a DJ desk or as a production desk. Now I've got it set up as a production desk here with shorter legs. I was sat at it at the very beginning of this, uh, this little talk through. Uh, but the cool thing is you can make those legs longer in order to turn it into an instant kind of standing desk stroke DJ table. So let's have a little closer look at it. So it's got a very retro feel to it. It looks kind of like an old school desk, doesn't it, from the old days. Uh, it's made of chipboard, but it's got that veneer over the top to make it look very nice, and it's nicely finished. Uh, this is hand assembled, you know, it comes in a flat pack. It took me about less than 90 minutes, well under 90 minutes, and I'm no expert at these kind of things. I'm normally the person swearing with a screwdriver in my hand halfway through, but it went together really easily. So the, uh, the desk has got uh, some nice little features for hiding wires and so on. So these holes here are for you feeding your cables through. I haven't actually fed the cables through yet for the DJ controller and I had time to set it up properly. Uh, so there's these holes here. And also at the top, these pieces here come off. So you can remove this middle section. You can also remove the sections underneath the speakers. And I'll pause the camera and do that for you in a second and show you what it looks like. So then that means you can hide things in there. Uh, you can even take the, the panels underneath the speakers off and leave them off and then have records piled in there. So if you've got two turntables and a mixer on this section here, you can have your records in there as well. So it's designed to kind of hide all the cables and make it look really nice in your home. Now this is in the corner of our living room here and you don't want something that looks too... I don't know, just not right in the living room. I'm sure you'll agree it looks, it looks really nice there. Uh, so I'll um, show you what it looks like inside. So here's the desk with the top panels taken off. The main panel there at the bottom is the one that fitted in here and that had the DJ controller on it. So you can see the room and the dividers underneath there so that you can put cables and so on. But also I think to store things in here as well. There's bits of equipment that you don't use all the time. They could maybe hide in there. And then you've got these unit lids at the back that I've taken off. So there are the extra feet. So these screw on to the legs. The legs have got a screw part at the very bottom of them. This little part here. And you just unscrew that foot and then screw the extra part on. They're really sturdy, so they hold fine with the extra bits on, but that gives you the choice. So it's not a converting desk insofar as you can press a button and it turns into a stand-up desk. This is something more that you would decide to do as a kind of semi-permanent arrangement uh, rather than something that you're changing every day. Uh, but you do get that option there. Uh, so the middle section here, and these have got cable feeds all the way through them as well so that you can have equipment that's wired coming through here. The wires can come in anywhere. You can see I've already started to throw a load of old cables into that one at the end there. Uh, and you can see the feeds here that come all the way through to the top panel, which also has those holes on so that you can then feed cables underneath all the way through to your DJ gear and get it all set up and then hide everything so it looks neat. Now, I'm no expert on desks, don't pretend to be, uh, and uh, this isn't a normal review, just uh, some thoughts on a phone from my home. But I did want to show this to you because it's exactly what we've been looking for to use as a home DJ production workstation. For me, I do a lot of DJing at home and do some live streaming from the balcony that's just behind me over there. And I tend to sit down in the evening with my headphones on and listen through my music and plan my DJ sets. I don't want to be stood behind a traditional DJ booth, traditional DJ workstation. I've been on my feet all day. I've been running around. I want to sit down and relax in a kind of, in a kind of um, production setting, the way you'd sit and produce music. And so to have something that I can use for DJing like that with the ability to wire all the cables in and have my laptop at the right height and so on, it's really cool. I imagine this would also make a nice workstation for some a creative person who wants something that's a bit funkier than office desks and so on. Now it costs about 600 euros, which seems a fair price for, the, uh, for what you get, for the functionality and the quality of it. The uh, packages it comes in, uh, two packages it comes in are both extremely heavy. Uh, I had to carry one of them back from the post office and the other one I gave up and took the, uh, took the van down there to collect it. Uh, you're, certainly, um, you're certainly getting your money's worth as far as, weight of, uh, as far as the weight of everything goes there. Uh, and as I said at the beginning, it was pretty easy to put together. So I'm quite impressed with this. You know, it's only been literally set up for a few hours. As you can see, I haven't even wired everything in yet. But I think this is going to, first, it looks great. But secondly, I think it's going to be a good functional addition to, um, to the way that, that I prepare my music and the way I, um, 
I uh, do my DJing. So this is the uh, the glorious hybrid workstation. The full name and details and so on are underneath this uh, this little video. And if you want to check it out, you can click there. If you want to check out more reviews and talk throughs and DJ related stuff, please do subscribe to this channel. Uh, we'd love to have you as our next subscriber. Meanwhile, this is Phil, the digital DJ tips. Uh, well, we're not at the studio. We're sat in my living room. This is Phil in the digital DJ tips living room saying, get good, get out of there, make the moments. We'll see you again very soon.